Welcome back to my bathroom and welcome to episode 22 of Is It Today it's an Aldi haul. I went down the junk aisle and picked up a bunch of really cool things. Some goodies. We also have some food in here. We're gonna try it all together and rate it one through 10. Before we start, do your tithing. Subscribe, like, click the bells, buttons, whistles. It helps me to continue to make these really high quality videos here in this bathroom. Also, don't forget to check out my website. It's in the description box below. I sell most of the stuff from the unboxings for a dollar free shipping. I post them randomly, so you just kinda have to check. First up, we have this Dyson cordless vacuum dupe. This one has a cord. It's $30. It looks it's pretty similar to the Dyson. It's got a nice blue going on in the hole, ladies. And then this little thing shoots, whoa, shoots out, shoots out, come on, shoots out like an umbrella. It has a floor brush, a pet brush, one of these things to get in the corners, and then a brush if you want to get wild on your sofa. It also comes with this turtle shell filter, an extra one. The cord, it could be longer. The Dyson's attachments, they snap on. These just, you just force them on and hope they stay. The trigger is right here. I wanted to try this infomercial style, so I put some Cheerios on the ground. The Dyson dupe just pushed the Cheerios, but it did suck up the Cheerios when you lifted it up and, you know, like on the Cheerios, suck it up. The real Dyson did the same thing. It pushed the Cheerios, but when you put it on top, it spread, <clears throat> what happened to my voice? It spread the Cheerios everywhere, everywhere because of the air. I would say the Dyson dupe here, picked up the Cheerios better. It also worked really well picking up cat litter, sucking up the litter. For the carpet though, I wouldn't recommend this product. You could push this forward, but you could not pull it back. So you'd have to push it, lift it up, push it, lift it up. It's already a lot of work vacuuming. Do we need to make it any harder? You'd have more success using one of those that they use at a restaurant when the restaurant has carpet. I always thought that was weird that some chilies have carpet. They have that little thing on a stick and it, mm -mm 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 -mm. for the carpet, that would work better. The pet attachment actually worked really nicely. Whoa. Oh, it's falling apart. Oh my, oh my. Pretend that didn't happen. Can we go backwards? This did work really nicely. I'd give this a six. It's not great, but where are you gonna get a vacuum for $30? We have funnel cake mix. This is $2. All you do is add water to the batter, put it in this water can, and woo, your funnel cakes. I need some practice on this. It also says it makes eight to 10 cakes. Mine only made four. This is my favorite one that I made. Oh wow. Tastes like a Walmart parking lot funnel cake. It's good, but not great. I thought it was gonna be fun and it, it wasn't. Wasn't fun for me. The oil stressing me out, popping back at me. I'd give this a four, a solid four. We have makeup remover cloths, cloths. They look like this. You get five of these for $5. These are those gimmicky towels that you wet and it removes your makeup. I've tried a bunch of these before and none of them have worked, but this one actually worked. I triple layered my frosting, my foundation, and it took it right off. It even took off my mascara, cry-proof mascara. Do you see that? So you take your makeup off with this and then wash your face with face wash, face wash. Or if you're me, I use head and shoulders, ladies, and it works just fine. Or does it? I think it's working though. 10 out of 10 for this. Spam bacon, they had it at Aldi. $3.50 for this can. It doesn't have huge chunks of bacon like I was expecting. It's good, but it's a little bit of bacon. It's like those, um, what are they called? I don't know. Bacon bits, they're, they're not really bacon because vegans can eat them. I'll put a picture up here. It kind of tastes like that flavor, but the same texture as Spam. Very salty. You're gonna need a gallon of water after this. Oh yeah, I guess this is a good way to tell you that. I'm sorry, I'm not on the vegan diet anymore. I can't do it anymore, I'm hungry. Could we make better choices than Spam? Absolutely. That is so salty. Oh yeah, I got this tea here. Ladies, I forgot, a tea bag again. Green tea, it's good, cheers. The Spam is good, hell, it's a 10. I love Spam. This is a mini air fryer, head to air fryer ratio. This is two quarts, it holds two pieces of Spam. It's $30, you can adjust the temperature here, and then the time, you crank it like this. This worked really well, and I liked it. I mean, I only used it for the Spam. The one thing that I find really annoying is this. Can you hear it? It makes the clicking noise, and when you're done, does that. I don't like that, because it could be the faintest and that's all I'll hear. I could have corn. I like corn on the cob, but I like corn. Playing on the stereo. And all I will hear is That's it. And then I'll start following the pattern. I can't get anything done. Other than the mildly annoying ticking sound, this is really cool. Especially if you're single or college, if you're in college, or is anybody doing that anymore? Are we going to school? Are we borrowing money like that? God bless Sally Mae, right? This was awesome, I'd give it a 10. These are on the go containers. That's some high quality plastic. Oh, it has that vacuum seal? Dang, Aldi. Listen for it. 
Are you okay? That one's kind of tiny. And then you get three of these twist on things. $7 for these. I feel like that's kind of expensive for that. Is that, is it BPA free? This is some honey vinaigrette dressing by a company called Brianna's. Brianna's, it's organic. This I found interesting because I saw this on Amazon and it was $8. Let's wash this. Whoa, that's, whoa. That's thin, whoa, that's sweet. Six grams of added sugar. That's good, is that good? I had a carrot somewhere in here, there it is. That's okay. I like ginger, but it has a very overpowering ginger flavor. I'd give that a five, but it appears that our sauce containers do not leak. We've got a candle, pink peppercorn and sea salt candle. Three wicks and it says it's, oh, soy blend. So it's not full soy, it's just a blend. Okay. Don't forget to trim your wicks, ladies. This one smells delicious. It smells similar to Yankee Candle, the one with the moon on it. Is it Midnight Sky or something? I don't know. I like masculine, mas bitch, you can't even say it. I like masculine scents. I actually wear cologne. Gucci Guilty Men's Cologne. Check it out, ladies. And I know it smells good because the other day I was at the gym and there were two men beside me and the one next to me said to the other man, what kind of cologne are you wearing? And the other man said, he wasn't wearing cologne. He was talking about me, it was me. I'm wearing cologne. I'd give that candle a 10 out of 10. We have an extra large desk mat. It's a giant mouse pad. Here's a regular mouse pad. Here's the giant mouse pad. Do you see that? This is $10. It has a nice anti-slip grip back, a hemmed edge. It's the perfect size for me to just start doing this when I'm editing these videos on the computer. Sometimes I'll even use two hands. I'd give this mouse pad a 10. They had my favorite shampoo there. They have the classic clean and the moisture one, which is the one I normally use. Oh, this is two in one shampoo and conditioner. Oh, I didn't see that. I guess that will save me a step. This is only $4 and on Amazon, they want $10 for this. This is Pantene. This is not Redken. This isn't a $10 bottle. This is three at best. It's not organic and all that woo woo stuff, but that's okay. That's okay. Eat an organic berry, balance it out. Use a paper straw. Did I tell you this was a 10? I think I did. This is a microfiber hair towel wrap. Looks like this, you get two in the pack for $7. This is the one we got a while ago at Dollar Tree. So you can see the difference. And I actually really liked this Dollar Tree one. This one's a lot longer, really good for my mullet. So I can really get that back in there and Woo. Put your head upside down, do one of those, and then button it in the front. And it helps get the moisture out of your hair and it's soft, so you're not using one of these like hotel towels. Y'all know I love a good hotel towel. This is, uh, actually this is a pool towel. Okay, that was included in my stay. Again, the Dollar Tree one works really well. This one does work better, I'd give it a solid nine. Pillowcase and eye mask in satin. It came in blue, pink, and gray. So I got the gray one for myself, the pink one I'll put on my website for one of you. It says 100% polyester. What? Originally satin was made using silk, silkworms. That's what I thought. Thought this was a damn silkworm pillow. Modern satin can be made from polyester. Damn, they just gotta cheapen the ride. So this is polyester satin. Not as cool as a silkworm, but still nice for our hair. You get two pillowcases and an eye mask for $5, which is a good deal for modern satin, I suppose. Here's the eye mask. I didn't like this because this strap was also made of satin. And if you're wearing your satin bonnet, are you remembering to wear that to protect your hair? It will flip off. I tried it last night and it slid off. This is the one from D25, the Dollar Tree. It works better because it has this like jock strap strap and two little pads here. I don't know if you can see that, but it kind of indents. So if you're wearing those fake eyelashes that look like damn caterpillars on your eyes, it's not gonna hit this, okay? Handheld steamer. I was so happy to see this. I could have really used that for the wedding dresses we had from Timu. Comes in two pieces, this part, and then you do one of these. Fill it with distilled water, it says. I didn't have that. Plug it up and you push the button. This is $13 and it's fast. That only took about 30 seconds and it's already boiling and look at that. Oh, sorry. I've never been this fancy before, but I feel like this is a nice one. It gets super, super hot. You cannot turn it this way, like it will get water all over the thing you're trying to steam. So you must have to hang it up. Am I gonna do it? Am I gonna do my curtains? No, I'm not gonna do my curtains. But this makes me have the desire and the desire is sometimes the most important part. I got all my curtains at Goodwill. You wanna wash them because you never know. Does somebody have bed bugs, pet roaches, whatever. Lice is also a thing. Wash them really well, hot water, and then spray that downy wrinkle, re wrinkle release on it and then fan it out. Honestly, they look good. I was proud of myself too. You know how hard it is to find matching curtains at Goodwill? Oh, the steamer, I'd give that a 10. This is a Laura Bar dupe. 
called Elevation Pure and Simple. 465 for seven of those. So that's 93 cents a bar. And a Laura bar is $1.30. They have the exact same ingredients as a Laura bar. The only thing that's different is one has one more gram of fat and one more carbohydrate, I think. You go first. Laura bars are, hmm, well, it's a little dry. The Laura bar, their first ingredient is dates. They use more dates than this, apparently. And I think the date makes it more, gelatin's not the word, but it's more, it's, I don't know, Laura bars are weird, aren't they? They're kind of, is this baby food or not? I don't know how to explain this, but this one is really dry. It almost tastes like granola. Um, I would say a Laura bar is better. I'd give these a four at best. I mean, I'll eat them and finish them, but I wouldn't buy it again. High protein bars, also by this brand called Elevation, which must be an Aldi brand. And they had a huge section of workout related things. Keto, paleo, Cheerio, all that. It was in a nice little section. Aldi is really nice, y'all. Nice. I don't think we give it enough credit how nice it is. And there's no music playing in the back. So that makes it nicer. I like that there's not a lot of choices because I can get a little overwhelmed. Also, I did use that key that we got at Timu that you put in the cart. And I wouldn't recommend that because the problem with that is you put it in the cart. Yeah, that's fine. Then you go load your stuff on the conveyor belt and the woman is beep, 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 beep. I mean, they don't waste any kind of time scanning my items. They want me to put the card in before I even set down the first item. It makes me a little nervous, that part. But they put all your stuff in someone else's cart. So then you have to take all your junk out of that cart and put it in the other cart so you can get your token back. And then on the way out, someone said, oh, I'll take your cart and give you a quarter. And I told her I can't because I have the keychain in. What the hell is a keychain? And I tried to tell her an Aldi keychain off Timu. What the hell? I don't even know to be honest. So I wouldn't recommend the token. Anyway, to circle back, I really enjoyed that they had a nice protein aisle or things geared toward fitness, protein powders, pre-workouts, all that jazz. These are chocolate mint. I'm thinking it's gonna be a dupe to my favorite Quest Bar. $8 for the pack, making them $1.33 a piece. Around here, a Quest Bar is $2.50, so that's a deal, wow. Here's what it looks like. Oh my! It has 19 grams of added sugar. With 270 calories, that's a lot. And look at all the ingredients. Not that a Quest bar is any better. I mean, these protein bars are glorified candy bars for adults. I'm not a dietitian or anything, but if you're going to do this or eat this, you could just eat that funnel cake. Girl, get your Twix bar. Cause it's the same thing. 20 grams of sugar is a lot. I finally found that goat milk, by the way. I'd give these a two. I don't like when companies do that, when they label something high protein and it's supposed to be like healthy. But when you look at the back, it's worse than some of the junk food on the shelves. Just because it has protein in it doesn't make it right. I found some dupes to those apple chips. They have these in Pink Lady and Caramel. They're apples and they're freeze dry. So crispy. Those are good. They taste just like the real brand. These were $2 and a bag of the other brand, the real Seneca are $4. Lickable cat treats. You get four of these for $2. Comes in these little tubes, chicken, salmon, tapioca, carrageenan, and turin. Turin. That can't be good for you. It says an adult cat can have three to five tubes a day. You wish, who's paying for that? See the consistency on that? My cat really enjoyed these. She eats a lot of liquid food because she doesn't have any teeth. Also, if someone wants to diagnose my cat, that'd be great. Could you take a minute and take a look at her? She's got this problem where she's losing all her hair. I took her to the vet and they ran all the tests, the ringworm, stress. How do you stress test a cat? Anyway, for $400, they told me they didn't know what was wrong with her. So maybe, maybe. Maybe you can tell me. I give those a 10. Lastly, we have this pet broom set. It's made out of this rubber. It has a squeegee on the other side. It's $10 and it also comes with a handheld one and a really high quality dustpan. That's what they're called, dustpan. These work really well if you have carpet to get that hair. You can also wet this. When Henry's inside, he pees on the wall and I have to scrub the walls. So this is perfect to shampoo the walls or scrub the wall, whatever. 10 out of 10 on this. You gotta get one of these. See the squeegee? See the squeegee. All right, wow. This is a mess. Thanks again for joining me here in my bathroom for this Aldi review. For today's words of wisdom, okay, here we go. This is something I'm working on for myself, is to just have more fun. Maybe you're thinking, oh, you're fun, you're fun. You know, I look fun. Okay, I look like I would be ready to have some fun, but I'm not, okay, I'm not. I wanna be in bed at eight o'clock. I wanna be up at four. I wanna be reading books. I don't wanna drive fast. I don't wanna watch a movie. I just kinda just wanna breathe and exist, you know what I mean? And sometimes I get caught in that constant loop of being like an 80 year old stuck in this body. And I'll realize when I see other people my age, or younger. Y'all are having way too much fun. Okay, you're having way too much fun. Slow down. I get so caught up in being very rigid and having a very set schedule that I forget that sometimes we can be loosey-goosey. 
sometimes we can go with the flow and we can have more fun. And if you don't get something done by 10 o'clock, it's gonna be okay. Like yesterday, this is what I did. Okay, yesterday I had a full day of work because I'm real OCD, so I make a schedule. At eight o'clock, you're gonna do this. And nine o'clock, you're gonna do this. And 10 o'clock, you're gonna be here. And 11 o'clock here. And then you're gonna eat. And then this. And it's like, damn boring. So I woke up and I just wasn't in the mood. I just wasn't in the mood to follow that schedule. So I put my email or I tried to put my email in vacation mode, but I couldn't really figure it out. But let's be honest, I don't even really check my email because it gives me anxiety. Okay. And what I wanted to do was rake my yard, which doesn't sound very fun, but I have a passion for lawn mowing and I did it and it was fun. Quiet. Cause none of my neighbors were doing the shit they normally do. Why are you weed eating at 6 AM? I used to have neighbors that were LARPers. You know, I've got the other neighbors. I told them I wouldn't talk about them anymore, but the little neighbors. And then I used to have neighbors that were LARPers and they would be out there beating the hell out of each other with their foam swords and costumes. And I thought that was weird. I thought I'd seen it all until I moved here with my other neighbors. Anyway, we're rambling again, but the point is to just stop and have fun and reset. Take a deep breath. Cause you deserve it. So anyway, Thanks again for being here in this bathroom and I will see you next time for something cool. Something cool.